Hi there, I'm Lauren Smith for Natural Partners, and today we're going to be working again with one of our great manufacturer partners, Da Vinci Labs. They have this wonderful line of Spectra Color powders, and today we're going to be using the purple, but they also have a green, an orange, a red, those sorts of things. The purple focuses on anti-aging. It has 19 different fruits and vegetables in it, as well as alpha-GPC, L-carnosine, and folic acid. And the great thing about this is it comes in convenient single-serving packages as well, so you can take it with you on the go. Today we're just going to make a simple spring fruit salad. So really, use what's in season and use what you like the most. We're going to make a nice little dressing with the Spectra Purples in it. Super simple, really tasty. There's a nice little twist on it with some ginger and jalapeno. If you guys will really like it, try it at home. It'll be a winner. So we're going to get started on this salad. It's really easy to assemble. Just get yourself a large bowl. And I'm going to start off with nice berries. I have here about a little over a cup's worth of fresh organic strawberries. I just quartered them. This goes right on into my bowl. And the next thing is about three quarter cups worth of a blackberry. These are organic local ones. They're beautiful. I just sliced them in half. When you do that, it kind of leaches the colors better. Then I have some local citrus, beautiful little kind of tangerine style wedges. And then I diced up a whole mango. You just peel it, cut the corners off on four sides, and then just dice away. And it does not have to be perfect. And then here I have about a cup's worth of really pretty muscat grapes. And that's the kind of grape that they make muscat wine out of. It's very sweet and it has this really kind of beautiful florally flavor to it. Sometimes when you eat them you sort of taste wine. I'm a big fan. So those all go in there. And the last thing I'm going to add for some bulk is some melon. This is an heirloom cantaloupe. And what you want to do is just slice both sides off. And you'll see with heirloom varieties that they're not going to be perfect. They'll have some weird kind of skin going on, but you want that. That means the seed has been saved over a long time and they're hardy and they're better for farmers to grow. So anytime you see heirloom produce, go for it, try it. And you'll be amazed by how much more intense the flavor typically is if it's ripe. So I'm just gonna go around and peel this skin off with my knife. Because we cut the ends off, it makes a nice little stable base for me to do this. It's okay if there's a little bit of green left. If there's any skin, you do want to get rid of that. And then all we have to do is just slice it right on in half, like so. And then they have these beautiful seeds. I'm going to scoop them out and toss them, but if you're interested in doing your own kind of gardening. Save these seeds. You can put them on a baking pan and let them dry in the oven and they're perfectly good to plant just like that. So you can have your own melons growing in your backyard or even in a pot on your balcony if you live somewhere like I do. Just go in with a spoon and just scoop all that fiber right on out. Okay. Then I'm just going to, oh, look, there's one little piece of skin left. I'm just going to get rid of it. I'm just going to slice it about an inch thick. Then go back over it so we get nice little squares. Like I said, they do not by any means have to be perfect. We like rustic food here. piece. First thing for this dressing, we're going to get the Spectra Purples into it. I'm just going to use a teaspoon worth, or which is basically a scooper worth. The nice thing about this is it's sweetened with stevia, so we don't have to make it much sweeter. There we go. There's about a full scoop. And then into that we're going to add about a good tablespoon's worth of organic orange juice. 
you don't like orange juice, you can use any other kind of citrus. The citrus basically just helps brighten up the whole thing. I'm just gonna whisk the purples right on into it. Comes out a really cool color. Okay. And to that, we're gonna add some fresh herbs. I have basil. It's really kind of one of those refreshing, nice herbs. If you don't like basil, I recommend mint. Even tarragon would be really nice in this as well. So this is about four little leaves worth, or you could use two big leaves. It's really nice, fresh off the plant. I'm just gonna roll it up and then just go right on over it with my knife. And it doesn't have to be super fine. This is called a chiffonade where it looks like that grass that you get in an Easter egg basket or like confetti. Just goes right on in there. And the next thing we're gonna add is some ginger. Just a little bit. We're not even talking like a quarter of a teaspoon. We just want something that kind of brightens it up. And ginger is a beautiful thing for digestion. It adds a little bit of heat. If you have nausea, it's another great thing. Just getting rid of that skin. I made a little cube. Now I'm just gonna slice it up. Then we're gonna go for a mince. You do kind of want to mince this up pretty fine so it distributes nice and evenly over that fruit. Otherwise, if you get a big chunk of ginger in a fruit salad, it's going to taste a little bit too hot. And we're already adding some heat with some jalapeno, so really get a good little mince on this. Okay, so just going to throw that right into our little bowl. and our jalapeno. So jalapenos are pretty mild on the spectrum of chilies. I'm just gonna cut off the tip. I cut off the top and then the tip. And normally, if I was using this in a recipe, I'd slice it in half and I'd get rid of the veins and the seeds or keep them if I was making a spicy salsa. But all I want for this tiny amount of dressing is just this little tip. And I'm just gonna slice it. Whoa. just like this. And then just keep mincing away till it's a nice fine mince, just like that ginger. You don't want anyone to have too big of a surprise when they bite down. All right, and then one of the last things we're gonna add is some fresh lime. This is key lime, they're seasonal. I had them in my fridge. They have kind of a fun flavor. This is basically the juice of one key lime. If you don't have lime, use lemon, use orange, whatever. Just make sure you get that fresh citrus in there. If this was a real, like a, a bigger lime, it would be half of a lime. Because this is a tiny little key lime, I'm gonna use a whole one. And then last thing, just for some kind of viscosity, just about a quarter teaspoon worth of a really nice agave nectar, that's it. The spectra purples are already pretty sweet themselves. I'm just gonna give it one nice little whisk. Make sure everything's kind of incorporated. And then into our fruit we go. Okay, so just grab yourself a spoon and toss this up. You'll notice that everything gets coated really lightly and you want that with fruit because as it marinates and as it sits in the fridge, it naturally starts to release its juices. This smells very awesome, I'm not gonna lie. All right. And literally five minutes for a beautiful spring side dish. You're really gonna enjoy this. And the great thing is, is you can use this with the other Da Vinci Spectra products. So you could use the greens, you could use the oranges, you could use the reds. But because today we're focusing on those anti-aging things, we thought it would be totally appropriate. So every good chef says to taste your food before you serve it. I'm gonna do just that. Make sure my friends will approve. Just find yourself like a nice little parfait glass, something of the sort. Make sure you get a little bit of everything in it. And to garnish it, I'm just gonna add one of these pretty little baby florets of this basil. 
just like that. That's all it takes. Oh yeah, I think it definitely passes the test. I hope you guys like it just as much.